Uh, I'm having emotional challenges in my trading because of past trauma. I'm repeating same mistakes and my efforts uh, are, are very strong uh, that I'm not able to get out and pulling the trigger uh, where I'm uh, not supposed to. Uh, I would really appreciate your feedback on how I can improve uh, and read up. Uh, so trading trauma, uh, you know, can kind of get a bit, a bit of a mat, kind of a, a extreme uh, connotation to it. So let, let's just get clear on what we're talking about when we're, we're talking about trauma. Okay. Trauma very simply means that there's emotion that is locked in place. Okay. So when you think back to three years ago, when you blew up an account or poker player, you know, bust your role, you played in, in games that were, you know, very aggressive. You were really over, really confident. We'll say mildly overconfident. Um, you know, thought you were taking appropriate risks that you could handle. You lost, you know, 70% of your bankroll and now, you know, having to rebuild. And the pain of that, when you think about it three years later, present day, still feels just as raw. The anger, the despair, the shame, the embarrassment, whatever you, whatever you want, whatever emotions are there. When you think back to them now, you still feel, even though it's, though it's been three years later. That is trauma, right? The emotions have been kind of paralyzed and frozen in place, almost like imagine kind of that Jurassic Park, you know, insect in, in that amber, right? Just kind of locked in place. And so how do you release and resolve that past trauma? Well, it's actually not unlike what the body does with muscles, right? If you have an injury, right? And I actually had one in my shoulder and kind of my, uh, uh, in my pecs, which I think came from baseball, right? When I was young, just kind of overthrowing, I was just a gamer. I just loved it. And of course, back then we had no kind of rules on how much of a pitcher should pitch and all the rest of it. So I'm pretty sure that I kind of tore something. And, you know, eventually as I got into my early, uh, uh, late teens, early twenties, I, I saw some limitations in my mobility here. Right? Well, what happens, right? The body creates scar tissue to help to protect uh, that injury. And the injury wasn't so severe that I needed the surgery. I would, I didn't even know about it really until I recognized the limited range of motion. And so what do you got to do? You got to go in there and you got to break apart that scar tissue and it's really freaking painful. So what do you got to do? You actually got to go back into your past and feel and dive into that past emotional trauma and see if you can begin to break it apart. And the mental hand history actually is a tool that you can use to do that. So uh, this question was fairly well timed. The one adjustment I would make to it is to describe the problem in detail and then just in step two, why does it make sense that you are still holding on to uh, that past emotion, right? And there's, there's a reason for it. Uh, usually people say like, we you know, trying to get past your past, right? Trying to move on and forget about it. Well, the reality is like, there's something for you to learn, right? And you want to take those lessons forward so that you're on more solid and stable ground moving forward. Otherwise, it's kind of just a waste, right? And then what ends up happening is, you have to have some kind of counter reaction to it. So let's say it is a blown account or a blown bankroll. Well, then, you know, fear has kind of become the scar tissue that is going to protect you from being in a scenario like that. But that's going to limit your upside. And that's not what you want. You want to understand why it is that you were in a position like that in the first place. And so, yeah, let's say that overconfidence, which is very, very often one of the precursors to a lot of these big, uh, you know, kind of traumatic moments. It was the problem, right? You need to understand what was causing that, right? And maybe it was a little bit of uh, naivete and inexperience and, you know, uh, and so, okay, fine, right? That, that's that's reasonable. But if you don't identify that that's what's going on, you know, then it, it really becomes hard for you to fully move forward, right? You are still stuck in the past because you're just trying to kind of counterbalance it with, you know, different ways of operating, but you're never actually healing the injury. And so I'm just going to throw a baseball like this because I can't actually have full range of motion. Well, nobody wants that, right? We want to have full functionality and actually better functionality because you're more knowledgeable having gone through that experience. 